I love Shelley Long, so I knew there would be something about Honeymoon with Mom that I'd like. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have watched this film had she not been in it. But I'm glad that I had a reason to watch it. It's not perfect, it is quite slow, but I'd say the final third of the film was actually really, really good. This was released in 2006. It's directed by Paul A. Kaufman and written by Dwayne Poole and stars, of course, Shelley Long as Marla and Virginia Williams as Marla's daughter, Shannon. And at the beginning of the film, Shannon is left at the altar. So her mother decides that they should go on her honeymoon together. And that is what they do. Marla kind of has two reasons for this. One is to bond with her daughter and be there for her. But Marla also works for a magazine and the person who owns the hotel is a bit of a celebrity and she thinks that she can try and get an interview with him. So she's not exactly upfront with her daughter about why she wants to go on the honeymoon. But nevertheless, they go and part of the film is about them initially bonding or trying to bond and exploring the island. And then things take a couple of different directions and I... I don't want to go into too much detail about what happens, as I don't want to spoil it. But if you've tried watching it and gave up, I, I'd say stick with it. The final third of the film really is fantastic. And as the film goes on, it does get better and better. And ultimately, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure I was going to. And for about 20 minutes, maybe I didn't time it, but roughly about 20 minutes, it felt... It just felt boring and I didn't I didn't like any of the characters and to be honest, I don't know if I ever really liked Shannon until towards the very end of the film. Marla has some very unlikable qualities, but I think she's a very well written and of course well acted character. And my my favourite bit in the whole film I guess this is a, a tiny spoiler. It doesn't actually spoil the narrative, but uh, I'll, I'll mention it in a moment, actually. But there was one bit that genuinely made me laugh out loud, maybe slightly because I'm a Shelley Long fan. But it was a, it was a funny moment. Otherwise, it's not a very funny film, but it does have quite sentimental moments. And it is a, an interesting look at the relationship between mother and daughter and... It does raise some interesting questions that Shannon has to dig a little bit deeper into to find out the truth about things that she's maybe been shielded from. But I won't say any more than that. The point there is that it does have a couple of layers to the narrative. It's not all boring and without meaning. There are some quite moving moments, but it's not you know the most engaging narrative, even if there are some interesting points raised. So I do recommend it. It is far from perfect. It's not the most compelling film I've ever seen. But once it got going, it became pretty decent. And as I said, the final third was actually really, really well done. And I really enjoyed it. So not a bad film. And of course, if you're a Shelley Long fan, I think you're going to love her in this. So a teeny tiny spoiler for the bit that I loved. It doesn't spoil anything in the narrative, but I am going to tell you what I thought was the the funniest moment. Not necessarily the best moment, as I preferred some of the more sentimental moments. But for me, this is the bit that I laughed out loud at. And it's the bit where Marla is on a horse, and then she gets off the horse, <laughs> and her horse runs away. And her daughter goes after the horse, and all we see is Marla trying to run after her and she was just adorable with the things she was saying and it was it's a very brief it lasts about six seconds but it's very very funny but again that might be because I just loved watching Shelley Long in that moment so I admit that there's some bias there but that being said it's still a film with some decent moments if it sounds like your kind of film I'd say give Honeymoon with Mom a go it's not a bad film 